and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. I have just finished installing an hour meter on our Westinghouse iGen 2200 and have run it for 12 minutes so it has two tenths of an hour on there and I gotta tell you had I known it was gonna be this easy I would have done this when we first got the generator and um, I am going to give you a tip that should make this job go a lot faster for you than it did for me it wasn't that I mean it really it wasn't hard at all uh, this generator is two years old it's been working for us for a long it's it's done great uh, but I didn't mind drilling a little hole on this one and so to feed the wire through but it was super simple and if I can do it you can so let me walk you through it these are some of the tools you're going to need for this project. Mine did not come with the double-sided tape or zip ties. The rubbing alcohol and cotton balls are to clean the area where you're going to put it on. So, to get started, the first thing you need to do is decide where you are going to mount the meter. Closer to the spark plug is going to be better because you're going to have to run that tiny little wire. Like I said, I use rubbing alcohol and cotton swabs to clean that area. And then I also clean the back of the meter to mount the double-sided tape on to that. Then you will need to remove the uh, boot and the uh, for the spark plug. It's a really close... Uh, confined quarters inside of here so I did take the side panel off so I could get a little bit more access. The directions say to wrap this cord that comes with the meter around the spark plug wire five times at approximately an inch and a half from the boot. Well that's uh they said four centimeters that's it. It was really like I said close quarters trying to work inside of here once you've secured the uh, wire around the wire around the spark plug wire five times, then you tighten it down with a zip tie, and make sure that the wire is not going to be touching the engine when so that when it's hot, it's not going to damage it. Then replace the uh, boot on the spark plug, and once you do that, you then are going to be ready to. Uh, drill the hole where the um, wire is going to be fed up to the meter. Let me stop right there. That was my mistake. I should have drilled the hole first, fed the wire down through the hole because I could feed the wire down through the hole, but I didn't. I wrapped it around that cord. It was so tight when I had gotten it done and I'd gotten it done well I mean it was in there exactly how I wanted it I didn't want to undo it and so I wasted a lot of time trying to get feed the cord up through and ultimately just drilled the hole a little larger and got that part done but learn from my mistake feed the wire from the top because inside these generators there's insulation around everything and so trying to get the wire through the foam I tried to scratch the foam away but still it would have saved me a lot of time had I just fed the wire through the little hole I drilled. Once the wire is through the hole I then put the uh, little wire inside of the channel that's on the back of the meter used a flathead screwdriver to ensure that I got it in there uh, seated properly took the double-sided tape off the back of the hour meter and then secured it on the generator. For right now, that's all I'm using. If I need to go back and tack that down with um, screws, I can. Then with the remaining wire, fold it, use a zip tie once you have it wound up to ensure that it stays together and away from the engine. And then we're ready to crank up the generator and see that this works. With the generator running, 
you see that little meter flashing and that lets you know that it's getting a signal and the signal is being received and it ever tenth ever six minutes it shows one tenth of an hour that's been uh the generator's been running once again this was super simple and wish i'd known how easy it was to do here are the printed directions if that's easier for you thanks for watching two tired teachers